Hi guys and welcome to today's video. I am starting off the intro in the future because as I was editing the video and nothing was making much sense, I started off the video with very chaotic energy and did not explain anything well at all. So in today's video, you're gonna be seeing a lot of home updates and a home decor haul, us putting our dining room together and me showing you all the great deals I got on our furniture and things like that. So it's very fun and exciting and I think that's why I had a hard time explaining it because I was just so excited for the video. So before we get started into the video, I want to thank today's sponsor, which is Karma. And you guys want to listen up for this one because I talk all about in this video how I got so many great deals from our dining room chairs to our dining room carpet to our living room carpet. So many things and I can thank Karma for that. Karma is an app and a Chrome extension that ensures that you never miss a price drop or a coupon code. So you guys can check out the link down below to check it out. But I'm going to talk you guys through how I use it and why I use it. So if you guys don't know, shopping for a house can be very expensive. We are learning this the hard way. So I've tried my best to find the best deals on anything that I can. And Karma has helped me out with that a lot. So I'm actually going to walk you guys through how I use Karma. It's super simple and easy. I've got my laptop right here. And the first thing you're going to want to do is download their Chrome extension. It is literally the easiest thing. It's like the click of a button. So you can go to any of your favorite stores. So I'm going to go to Overstock because that's actually where I got my carpet and my chairs. So I find that I really love this rug and though it's on sale right now, there have been many times that it hasn't that I was waiting for it to go on sale. So then I just went over to the side of my screen, clicked the Karma button and then it makes it super easy. I can choose the size that I want, if any price change happens at all, and then I can actually save it to my lists. And so once I've saved that item, I will get a notification either by email or push notification if any price change happens or if it's back in stock, which is super, super great, especially with house stuff. I feel like things go out of stock super quick. And the best part is that it'll actually tell you if it has a relevant coupon as well. So I love that you can actually organize all of your products by list. So if I go to my account, I can see I've got a ton of different lists, either home stuff, clothes, decorations. I've got so many things because I love using Karma for everything. And like I said earlier, my favorite part about Karma is that they'll actually scan the internet for coupons. So while you're checking out, just click scan for coupons and it will scan the entire internet. And I've actually gotten really great deals using that tool, which I really love. And what's really sweet is that whenever you shop with select retailers, Karma will actually give you cash back and give to a good cause. So you guys can check out Karma's free Chrome extension with my link in the description box. You can also download the app. I highly recommend checking it out if you guys love getting great deals like me. So with all that being said, let's get into the rest of this video. It's a little chaotic. Prepare yourselves, but it's really fun. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to today's vlog. I am so excited for this vlog. I can't even explain it. Also, we are dog sitting, and it's been so fun. Also, I'm using my favorite lip mask ever. I don't even have the full size of it, but I'm literally obsessed. It literally, like, my lips used to be so chapped, like peeling, and they're just glorious now. I love it. I don't think I'll ever go without this stuff in my life ever again. I am so excited for today's vlog because we are finally like finishing up the house. We got a dining room table, as you guys saw in a recent vlog, but we just got our carpets in, we got our chairs in. We're gonna be installing our open shelving in the kitchen, and I am just so excited. I'm just, I can't contain it. And I'm actually about to go to Target. Also, let me just show you the state of our house right now. So, we've got boxes everywhere, carpets everywhere, like there, there. <gasps> Knox, say hi to everybody. Say hi. We've had Knox since Wednesday and today is Saturday. And he's leaving us tomorrow. We are so sad. This well, is our friend's dog. We might try to cut a deal with the owners, see what we can do. Half Maybe. and half? Yeah, like <laughs> every other week, something like Yeah, that. so he's <sighs> literally the best. He's so well trained. So lots to do this weekend, and we're gonna bring you guys along. I have like hat hair. Back from running errands, we grabbed lunch while we were out. We just like went to Chipotle. I literally got nothing. That's okay, I guess I'll go either to like a newer Target. There's a Target closer to us that I like. So I might go there tomorrow, but right now I'm gonna set up our dining room. I'm gonna roll out the carpet, open up all the chairs, and it's gonna be really fun. So I'm gonna do that, and then Sam's gonna start on the shelves.
Tan's about to start drilling into the tile. So why don't you explain to them why this is like a big project rather than like just... This is something small. Because yeah. it's tile. And tile, if you drill into it, it can crack, uh, can crack this whole square. So you gotta be really careful, you gotta buy these diamond tip. I was gonna use Jacqueline's ring, but she didn't let me. It's a lot cheaper to do ourselves than to like hire somebody to do it. <clears throat> yep. And Sam enjoys this kind of stuff. This is it, this is the moment. Nice, babe. Okay, so I put everything together and it looks so nice. It looks so good. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep this in the centerpiece or not, but I feel like it really went there and the chairs go so good. I really love um, just kind of bringing in more darker tones since everything in the house is so light. I really wanted a more moody rug and moody chairs, but like everything else be bright and white. I think it looks so good. I'm so excited. I will have everything that we use linked in the description box. I got such a great deal on this rug. It's from Overstock. You guys saw the great deal I got on this. It's from Pottery Barn, but we didn't pay full price for it. And then these chairs are also from Overstock. So we got a really good deal on all of these because chairs can be expensive and so can rugs. So I'll link everything down below for you guys. So I got these sconces off of Amazon and this is really cool, so I wanted to show you guys. I didn't want to make Sam run the electrical like right away while hanging them up because we would have to add like a switch and stuff and it just would be complicated. So I put puck lights inside so you can see right there i put two of them so look i can control it with the remote and i can change the colors which is really cool i can set it on a timer so my next project is going to be to hem all of our curtains even our living room ones are really long um so i bought this like hem adhesive and it's just like iron-on so i'm just gonna do that to all the curtains i don't even know how to do it but i feel like it's pretty self-explanatory so This side definitely did not turn out as good. You can see it's kind of shorter over here. Yeah, longer in the middle and then short on the side. But you know what? I feel like it's one of those things that's not really gonna bother me. So I'm just gonna leave it to all the perfectionists out there that would probably drive them crazy. But I've learned my lesson. I just need to cut it and then do it. It will be much, much easier. Here's where we're at. We arranged the furniture with this rug. This rug is so small, um, and we knew that possibly, but the next size bigger was 13 feet, which would have come out way too far this way. So what I'm thinking is that we'll get another rug underneath to layer with it. So what I'm trying to figure out, cause like clearly our mat that's underneath is like, you can see it and that won't happen. It is a while later. I finished hemming all the curtains. I did laundry and stuff. And I'm just tired. I don't know why I'm tired. I guess I kind of did a lot, but not nearly as much as Sam. He did like actual labor. Mine was just tedious labor. And it ain't even labor day. <laughs> Sam, he finished putting in all of the like dowels. <gasps> Say hi, Knox. Say hi. Say hi to them. Okay, so I just went and got pizza. I was fully planning on cooking tonight, but the stove is occupied with tools and things like that. We just got pizza, cheap and good. Mm. So we're going to continue our Harry Potter marathon. We're on the second to last movie, so the Deathly Hallows part one. Knox is really intrigued by this pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you buddy. Can't. 11 bucks. You can't beat it. And for a side of ranch. You can, and it's you... called Little Caesars. No, not, no, 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 no. This is good. Little Caesars is trash. Little Caesars is not trash. Comment down below if you like Little Caesars. I love and if you like it, we can't be friends. I'm sorry. I'm just kidding, but also not. Good morning, Knox. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. So we just finished up at church. Sam 
per usual was there to set up for church so he got here at 6 30 which is so crazy so we drove separate so he's gonna go to Lowe's and Home Depot and I'm gonna go to the better Target and hopefully find some stuff to decorate the shelves with like I really just want to make it look really pretty also it's snowing it's turning into water but it's snowing pretty bad while we were in church you could just see it coming down like huge chunks so we'll see how long the snow lasts I'm like shivering right now okay let's go to Target sitting at our new dining room setup, and this, this is killing me. Um, hi buddy, hi Knox. But yeah, I don't know what to do with that, and a lot of people would say like just put a picture frame over it, but I feel like that just wouldn't look right because I wouldn't normally put a picture frame there, it's not a very big wall, um, and that's a huge panel. So I'm wondering if I can paint it the same color as the wall. Comment down below if you know if you can, if you've done that, whatever. Doesn't quite go with the vibe of the room, but it's such a cozy day. Like I only have our really warm, cozy lamps on and it's just, it's just a mood. I've been talking for way too long, so this is the last thing that I'll say, but I think it's very important. The Starbucks Honey Citrus Mint Tea, you guys know, I love it. It's the only tea that I love and it's probably because it's like 50% lemonade, so it's sweet and delicious. But every time I've gone, they're like, sorry, we're out of the tea. And I'm like, what do you mean you're out of the tea? Like the literal tea bags. And I would make it for myself at home all the time. And I'd go to the store because I ran out of my um, Jade Citrus Mint tea bag. And there's also the Peach Tranquility and they put them both in there. I have not been able to find it anywhere. Like all the Tavana like things are gone in all the grocery stores. And I've looked at, I think seven and I finally found two of the like mint tea and I got one of them and I was like, should I get the other one? But I don't know if they're coming back in stock or if I made a mistake and just should have gotten the other one. So anyway, I've replenished my tea thing because I was out for like two weeks and it was really sad because I was making like a tea a day, which it's probably better that I don't do that anyway. But now I'm using them more sparingly and I feel like this is the perfect day. I was gonna make hot chocolate, but I feel like that tea is a little bit healthier. Okay, so we have slight change of plans here. Okay, so in our original plans, we were gonna do the top shelf all the way over and then cut it at an angle so that it would be like completely touching the thing, um, the range hood. It would be really difficult to make that kind of cut. So I think we're just gonna do it like that now because we were gonna have a longer shelf on both of the tops and then shorter on the bottom, but I guess I think we're just gonna make it even now. And obviously they're just sitting on top of the dowels. He's gonna put them in the dowels. So they're a little higher than we're planning, but. Okay, so it is day three of this project. And we are now looking at the stain in the kitchen to see what we think. We did two options. They're both oil-based, so they changed the color slightly. So there's only two stains on here, and this is the natural wood color. I like this stain better, obviously, than this one, but I really prefer the natural color. So I think that if we get an oil-based, or sorry, I think if we get a water-based stain, then it shouldn't change the color, and it will look like this instead. 
I don't know, we'll see, but I don't mind that one at all. Okay, so little update. I got two more chairs. I actually got these off of Facebook Marketplace. They're slightly different than these. Like in the slightest, you can see the seat colors are a little bit different, um, but I got them for such a good deal. It's not gonna bother me. So yay, our dining room is officially complete. So today I went to the thrift store and got some things. So I'm giving you a little sneak peek of what I got. I'm gonna do a haul of everything towards the end of the video that I got for the open shelves. I loved the shape of this. I don't really, I mean the design's cute, but it's not what I want. Only issue is, is that this is the biggest brush I have. So we'll be here for a while. I've never done this, so I'm just gonna wing it. Um, I got this, it's like a, a gray. Um, it's not quite black. It's kind of what I wanted just to bring some darkness in. I mixed up my paint and I actually added a little bit more black. And the reason that I added baking soda is because you'll see it gives this really pretty textured look um, that will look really good on the base. I'm hoping, who knows? Um, so I'm gonna do a couple layers and we'll see how it looks. I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone I, I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations Oh, cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting But then you came along and proved me all wrong, I was so mistaken Okay, it is a different day and I was really hoping that we would finish the shelves and I could add that in this video, but we ran into a slight issue. I don't really know how to explain why we can't put up the shelves. I thought maybe you could give like a quick explanation as to why like we can't do it just right now. So it's going to be supported by these rods that are going to go into the wood and I have to drill a hole into the wood and it's a pretty big hole and it's pretty long and there's not a lot of tools like handheld tools that will do that. The holes have to be like super, super straight. And if I try to do it myself, I could move and twist it and stuff. So it's like the smallest mistake could like. Psh. Yeah, that's why I didn't like, oh, I'll just try it out. Yeah, so that's the update on the shelves. So they're not gonna be done in this video, but I am gonna do a haul of everything that I got. Your work wow. here is done. How does it look? Oh, that feels so good, actually. So all of this stuff is a combination between stuff that I got from Target, TJ Maxx, Hobby Lobby, and Goodwill. And let me tell you, I found some amazing thrift finds. So let's start with Target because it's everyone's favorite place. So the new Studio McGee line came out. It's like coming out. Like they're sprinkling things inside the store. And there were a few things that caught my eye last time I was there. So I got a few things. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep all this stuff because it is a little pricey, um, everything together. So I'm just gonna show you guys what I got, what I will possibly use. And of course, I'll have everything linked down below that I can link, clearly Goodwill stuff I can't link. So first things first is these cute vases. So they've got plenty of these, like some of their stuff is hard to find, but I've seen these in all the targets I've been to. Um, and this was $30 which I guess I've just gotten used to target pricing. So I was like, oh, that's not bad. But I went to Goodwill and everything I got was under $30, under the price of this one thing, which you'll see how much stuff I got. So kind of telling <laughs> that it's not super cheap, um, but they are really beautiful. And then I also got this one. So I love the shape of this one, but I love the color of this one. So I don't know what to do. I'm not sure which one I'm gonna keep or if I'll keep any, or I might keep them both. Then next from Target, I got this super cute little box. I do want to get a diffuser, so I might get that and then use this to put all the oils in. I really want to get the Young Living stuff, but it's so expensive, so I'm not sure if I'll do that anytime soon, but I thought this box was really cute. Then the next thing that I got from Target is this basket. Um, I thought it'd be really cute to put, you know, bananas and just like fresh produce, lemons, limes in here. But I want to see how it looks. Like, it might look messy to me, and I don't want it to look messy. Oh, how am I forgetting? This was, like, my best find at Target so far. This rug. I've been looking for a runner for our kitchen for so long. I've been using the same rug that I had in our college house, which is fine, but it's it just, like, doesn't quite fit the space of the kitchen. It's not quite a runner. So I feel like while I'm 
cooking in the kitchen like one foot is on it and one foot is off it most of the time because it's not very long so this is so pretty i've been waiting to find like the perfect design and my goal with the shelves is to bring in kind of like greens blues browns and literally this is all of those colors like look how perfect all this goes which i guess it's just her spring collection but like look at that and then you'll see some stuff i got from goodwill that matches it perfectly so i can't wait <laughs> to install that. Then next thing from Target that I am super pumped about, I've also been looking for something like this, is this basket. This is not going on our shelves. This is actually gonna go in that little tiny area. I say tiny, but like the littler cabinets. Like on the left side of our kitchen, there's just a small thing of cabinets. They're not full size, they're like half size, if that makes sense. So this is what I wanted to put our keys in, wallets, sunglasses just random stuff that you just want to throw down on the counter um i've been looking for a basket that was long and tall enough to where you couldn't quite see all the mess that's in there but it would still look cute so this is that and i think it's meant to like hold bread so you could use it for that too but i thought this was great this is definitely new at target because i haven't seen it and i think it was like 10 15 bucks which is pretty great because it was exactly what i was looking for and then I also got this from Target. This was a lot, a lot less than these. This was $10, these are 30. And I liked the rustic look, more vintage -y vibe it was giving. So I thought it was really cute. And I feel like baby's breath out of there would be adorable. Okay, last thing from Target are these little sauce bowls. And this is perfect. I don't have bowls like this for like soy sauce or any sort of dipping. Um, and I'm a condiment queen, so I need all this stuff. So I thought this was perfect, and I'll actually use it, and I think it'll just look cute, like kind of, you know, sitting all like that up on the shelves. Is this from Target? Oh, okay, I said that was the last thing, but also I got this little tiny cheese board because I want to layer cheese boards as well. But next is TJ Maxx because I actually only got one thing, but it's this cheese board. I love it. There's one from Target that I've been wanting for a really long time. I'll put it here, and I just need to get it but I've been avoiding getting it. But I would love to layer all of these together. I just think it would look beautiful. I'll save Goodwill for last because those were such great finds, but let's do Hobby Lobby next. I'm so excited because Hobby Lobby had this like little wood stand. I've got one very similar to this in our bathroom from Amazon. Um, and Amazon had some, but I was like, eh, they're a little expensive. And so I found this at Hobby Lobby and I love that it's dark wood because our shelves are light wood so I think this will look great on top I'm not sure what I'll do with it and I got it 50% off because they've got 50% off every other week on different items um so this was this was $12 which is pretty good I think cheaper I think half the price than the one on Amazon and it's bigger so then oh I'm so excited about this I grabbed this put this back grabbed it put it back so many times and then I walked back to it was like I'm just gonna get it so it's this like amber glass little bowl jar thing I've got two other amber glass jars from Magnolia's line of, like maybe a year or two ago um and they're both like matching but one's tall one's short and I feel like this would go with it and kind of break up the like symmetry between them so I love this and again 50% off. It was $7, which I didn't want to pay $7 for it, but that's because I went to Goodwill before going to Hobby Lobby, and I just should have known. Like, I was used to Goodwill prices where that would be a dollar, and I was like, $7 for this, and it's 50% off? So, don't go to Goodwill first. Okay, last thing that I got that I think is really pretty is this, like, goldy, vintage -y looking frame from Hobby Lobby. I've been trying to find, like, the perfect vintage -y painting um and i cannot find it but i think what i might do one of my friends actually did this and i thought it was such a great idea she tore out like a hymn from a hymnal that she had and put it in here and it just looked beautiful or like in her frame and i was like i might steal that idea because i love that now on to goodwill i'm gonna start with the first thing i found when i was there it has nothing to do with these shelves but i think it was the best find actually you know what no i'm not gonna do that i'm gonna share it in a different video and I think, I'm not sure which one's going to go up first, but sorry about that. I'll share that in a different video, so keep an eye out for that. Sorry, it was a little teaser. Watch it, like, already be out by now. Who knows? Okay, Goodwill. So, first thing is something that I actually just DIY'd, and I think that's in this video. I'm not sure. I've been filming three videos, and it's very confusing. But I got this vase from Goodwill, and I love it. Um, I think it gives it, like, an old-school vintage-y vibe. Now, next, find a Goodwill. This was amazing. So, 
I found these green bowls at Target that were $5 each. And I just loved the color. It was the kind of color I was trying to bring into these shelves. And I was like, $5 each? Like, that's so much. And I was like, well, I guess we could always use bowls, you know? And then I went to Goodwill. And I found the perfect green bowls. And all of these together were $5.99. Like, that is why I love Goodwill. So these are the colors. They're like slightly discolored, but I love it. I love it so much. They had another set and I'm kind of sad I didn't get it. I probably should have, but I think it's so cute. And it's exactly what I was looking for. For six bucks, you can't beat it. Okay, next thing, I'm also so happy I found these, are these mugs. And the cool thing is, is that they weren't like all together in a set. I was like finding one and then I found another one and then I found another one and then I found another one. I was like, oh my gosh, this is like a treasure hunt. So I don't know if I'm gonna put two and two or a stack of four on the shelves. I don't know, but again, I'm trying to bring in color and like black. Um, since the black, black splash is white, I gotta bring in some different vibes. So I thought these mugs would be perfect and they were a dollar each. So I actually found a whole set of mugs, a huge teapot, this, um all together but they weren't like being sold as a set and i felt bad separating this guy from the rest of them but i didn't need everything else i just wanted this so i got this little like milk thing um again i don't really think i'm gonna use it but i love just the look of having it all up there and then i found this jar which like matches it perfectly but i don't think it was a part of the set because it has this design on it that I love. So anyway, I thought it was really cute and I just love the vibe of all these colors together. So I definitely saved the best for last. This is actually a Facebook marketplace find, but I've been wanting a copper pot, like an antique pot for so long, like a teapot. And I looked on Facebook marketplace and I found one near me. Like there were a ton of other ones and they were really expensive, but I found one near me that was $20. And of course I was like, I'm gonna negotiate that. So I got it for 15 bucks. It's like exactly what I would have wanted. A wood handle, the handle is gold, and then the pot is copper. It's got some rusting, but you know what? It's character. I love it. I think it is so adorable. So I'm really happy I got this. And hopefully all of this comes together. I don't know. I'm just kind of winging it and just finding things that I think would go well. And then hoping for the best. I really want to add in cookbooks. And just things that make it feel like a kitchen, obviously. Decorating the shelves and all of that will be a whole nother video. But I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Going through the process with the shelves and our dining room and just adding all the fun stuff and having Knox here. It was so, so fun. And don't forget to check out Karma with the link in my description box. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. So mistaken, cause you glue all the pieces back together. Yeah, you, you take all my